I was able to get a suction irrigator that had been opened but not used. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, I'm just going to run through some nuts and bolts or nozzles and screws on it just so you get familiar with it. So this particular one that I have, this is the generator that, that spikes into the bag of fluid and it hangs by itself just fine. For the other one, it has the other brand. It has a bracket on it that you have to put on the IV pole. If you don't put it on the IV pole and you just spike it and let it hang, it's heavy enough that it will pull out and then you get fluid all over the floor and under whatever that bag has. This is your suction tubing that runs parallel with your irrigation. So this would be going off to the circulator. Then this part of it will be on your field, left on your field, and this is your suction irrigator with the working end. So you have your nozzle here, and this is important. It doesn't happen very often. Once in a while, the factory will not have this completely tightened, and I've had it pop off during the case a couple times. When it does pop off, then you get sprayed in the face because usually you're holding it like this so the, the water splashes out in your face. So you want to make sure this is tight. Then the other thing, the scrub tech will probably be doing this, but you have a nozzle that goes on the end. This particular one has a black nozzle. And this particular one is, has square sides on this side, and then it has a uh, threads on this side. So you have to get it in. And I'm going to be quiet so you can listen for it. You hear that click? That means it's engaged. And once in a while, the scrub tech will put it on and won't push it till it clicks. So you can just check that when you bring it up in the field and when you're getting things hooked up at the beginning of the case. The other one has a white nozzle. This one's round. It doesn't have any edges, but this one also clicks on. And I want to be talking a little bit more about the nozzles later on. But for now, let's just talk about the priming. So you have two buttons on it. You have on this one, the irrigation is here and the suction is here. On the one that has this tip, it's just opposite. This would be the suction and this would be the irrigation. So it's a little bit tricky when you're, you're, when you're popping back and forth between two. So now you want to prime it. If the circulator does not have it hooked up to the suction, then you're going to be pushing down the irrigation and it's going to be coming up the tube and you need to be watching that because you want to stop it when it gets here because if you don't, then it's going to keep on going through the nozzle and it's going to spray either the, the tower that has all, all your equipment on it or it's going to spray whoever's across from you. And you need to prime it before they can turn on the battery because otherwise it will just be what's called cavitating. It'll just be running and you'll hear this irritated noise of it trying to run and not having any fluid in. So that's you have to prime it first. But ideally, the circulator will have it hooked up to suction before you're ready to prime it and in that situation you just take your fingers and you push both of them the suction the suction and the irrigator and what that does is the irrigation will come up the one tubing it will go into the nozzle and it will be sucked right back into the irrig the suction tubing without going through the nozzle and so it won't spray anyone so that's a much safer way to do now i just wanted to talk a little bit about the tips here you have the tips and for some procedures like a bariatric or some other ones when the patient might be long, they do have longer tips. This is what actually comes with the two different brands. And there's something I've noticed about this particular one with the black nozzle. This, as you can see, is a little bit wider than this one. So it's also, this one's slippery. This one you can see my hand doesn't slip as easily. Whatever the surface is here is a lot less slippery than this one. So it tends to stick when you're trying to manipulate it back and forth in the trocar, especially if you're doing a five, because it's also larger than this one. So just be aware of that. This is a little harder to push it in and out. And because it's a little bit larger, the force is a little bit greater. But you can control the force of the stream depending on whether you're trying to really irrigate a lot at once or whether you're trying to gently irrigate off a little bit of an area without knocking off a scab or a clot. So uh, this one is a little bit easier to control than this, but you can actually control the force of the stream by how far you depress this. You depress it all the way down, you're going to get a very forceful stream. And if you depress it just halfway or partway, you're going to get a much softer stream. So you can adjust it for what you need to do with it.